dear students welcome to plus one computer application class this is the last session of this chapter chapter 3 data processing with electronic spreadsheet this session is page formatting and worksheet printing one worksheet created in a printed printer. The printer is a printer. format is a chain. The printing is a printer. page size, paper size, margins, print range. The chain is a chain. It is the print formatting features and we will discuss it. That is the print ranges option. So this print range allows us to print only a specific part of the worksheet. Or selected rows or columns can be printed. You will see how to define a range. In order to define the range, first we have to select the range of cells. Suppose we want to print the first four columns only just select the required range of cells then from the format menu you can set, uh, define the range format print range define now the print range is defined now you can see the print preview what is print preview print preview option will display how the page appears in the print so print out till engane page appear cheyunu enna kanikkunnana adu adinu print preview veyga so print preview will display how the page appears in the print out nammal ippo print out eduthu kanyal page nattu namukku ingane aanu undaaga we will use the data sheet worksheet. We will define the range. So, after defining a range, it will print only the cells containing in the particular range. We defined using the menu format print ranges define if you want to remove this we can also remove the defined range by following the menu option format print range clear so here in this in your text it's given us format print range remove but in this version of the software it's displayed as clear so after clearing the print range or removing the print range you can see the entire worksheet is visible in the print preview that means if you print the worksheet now it will print the entire content of the worksheet For viewing the print preview, you can use the print preview button in the standard toolbar or you can use the keyboard shortcut control plus shift plus O. Or from the file menu, you can use the print preview menu option. And once the print preview is displayed, if you want to go back to the normal view of the worksheet, you can return to the normal view by Again, clicking the same print preview button, or there is a close preview button. Is there? You can use this also for closing the preview. We have to do print range view. So, we have to do the carry on. So, you have to do the heading. Sometimes we need to print multiple pages with the contents with same headings so we need to repeat the headings in each page for 
for that also we can use this print range method so you can repeat the headings on uh, multiple pages by selecting the edit option in the print range menu so go to format print range edit select the edit option so here edit print range dialog box will display this is the edit print ranges dialog box here you can see rows to repeat columns to repeat you can repeat rows or columns on multiple pages so in this select box you can select user defined rows to repeat user defined and select the rows you want to repeat on multiple pages select the ranges to be repeated select the rows to be repeated then click ok now you can see the difference this is the first page then move to next page you can see the difference the heading is repeated in all the pages here this is page 4 this is page 3 this is page 2 thus we can repeat headings on multiple pages using edit print range option and the format menu format print range edit using this option we can repeat the headings on multiple pages next one is header and footer we will see the page in the text mode. We will see the page in the computer application. We will see the page in the page. We will see the page in the So there are common text on each and every page on this document. On the top of the every page and bottom of the every page, you can see some common texts. These texts are known as headers and footers so header means the text appearing at the top of every page in a document the common text appearing at the top of every page in a document is known as header and footer is the common text appearing at the bottom of every page each page in a document every document is all page mughal common text header on one document le ella page in the thaale bhagathu kaanuna common text kale footers footer ennum parayum header and footer insert cheyya namaku namale text le edit header and footers nanu ivada namaku ad available aayittulla insert menu lana insert header and footer und click cheyyanu namaku oru header and footer dialog box varum see ivada namaku header tab und footer tab und Header click here. Now, okay. And then we display the common text chapter three. Chapter three. Now, footer. Now, okay. Page number. We'll put it on left side. Then, on the left side, we'll page number. Page. Pages, page. Okay, button click here. You can check it with print preview. Chapter 3, 1, 2. Chapter 3 is repeating on all pages. This is header, and sheet 1 is also there. You can see, and this is footer. This is the footer area, and this is the header area. The common text appearing at the top of every page in a document and common text appearing at the bottom of every page in a document header and footer so you can insert header and footer through header and footer dialog box and this is available in the insert header and footer menu or an edit header and footer menu then Next one is page break. Page break denotes the end of the page. So 
so normally page breaks are inserted automatically when the content goes beyond the margin of the first page so depends on the page size or paper size page breaks are inserted automatically so you can see the first page contains this 37 rows here and it automatically insert a page break after the 37 row and the 38 row is and the second so spreadsheet inserts a page break here automatically you can insert page breaks manually if you want to break the page at the fifth after the fourth row if you want to break the page and want to print the fifth row in a new page you can insert a page break here so the page break will be inserted above the active cell or selected cell now this c8 is the active cell if you are inserting a page break, uh, page break manually, it will be inserted above the row. Here in spreadsheet, page breaks are divided into two types, row break and a column break. So you can insert manual row break and manual column break. From the insert menu, insert page break is there. In your text, it is given as insert manual break, row break. Here insert page break row break so it will insert a row break above the active cell current cell so page break is inserted above the eighth row so employee number five will be printed on the second page so check it with print preview so you can see employee number four is here and on the second page you can see employee number five so after the fourth employee we inserted a manual page break here like you can insert column break and column break will be inserted before the active cell so if you insert a column break here break will be inserted after column c before column d because the active cell is in column d the column break will be inserted before the active cell it's also from the same menu insert page break column break so a column break is inserted between C and D before D. Check it with print preview. Only first three columns will be displayed in the first page because a column break is inserted after the column C. And you can remove the column break and row break from edit menu. Edit, delete page break, row break and edit delete page break column break now we removed both column break and page break and we can check it with print preview so now there is no break after fourth row or after column c next one is page style setting so using the page style dialog box we can set the paper size format and page orientation and page margin so page orientation paper size and format page style dialog box can be displayed by following the menu format page first tab is organizer second tab is page then border background header footer etc in the page tab you can set page format page orientation margin so page format is like a4 a3 page size is there different size pages are there normally we use a4 to we will set a4 for printing the orientation is of two types portrait and landscape if the printing takes place lengthwise it is portrait and if the printing takes place widthwise it is landscape orientation so normally we use portrait in margin also you can set and finally you can click ok button here to apply all the changes you made and the final one is printing and export exporting the file as PDF in order to print 
you can click the print button in the standard toolbar or you can use control p this keyboard shortcut and use the file option menu option file print so it will bring you a print dialog box and the print dialog box you can select the available printer to print the worksheet then a range and copies can be selected here how many pages you want to print all sheet or selected sheets or all pages or the range of page you can specify here number of copies you can specify here and click ok button to take the print out and finally export as pdf the file can be exported as pdf pdf is a portable document format file we can view on any platform the pdf file can be viewed on any platforms that means pdf file can be opened in windows open to android any operating system we can view pdf files after converting this into pdf it's not easy to edit So a worksheet can be converted into PDF from the export PDF export as PDF menu and the file menu. So it will bring X PDF option dialog box. Here you can select the range and quality of the image also you can insert a watermark here by checking the sign with watermark box and you can type the text to be displayed in the background of the document as watermark also you can set the range pages first page only if you want to convert first page of the worksheet only then you can check the option pages and insert one here and quality of the image quality of the file can be adjusted here and press the export button and here the file name you can give the file name and select the folder where you want to save and press the save button This is a file we exported now. Just open it and we can see this is the first page. Only one page is there. This is the first page of our worksheet and the text copy is displayed as watermark in the background. The option is file export as PDF. We try on our third chapter.